Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about how much it actually costs to get plastic surgery. How well, how much it costs me to get my plastic surgery. But first, I wanna talk about my doctor. I decided to go with Dr. Medina. She is located in the Dominican Republic and I'll have her, um, her contact information below. So I flew into the Dominican Republic on February the 29th and I ended up having my surgery on March the 2nd. Now you have to arrive at least two days before your surgery because there are some lab tests that she'll need you to get done, some blood work, things of that nature. So that's why I arrived two days prior to my surgery date. Now, to get a quote, um, she has WhatsApp. You can contact her on Instagram. But the way that I did it was I emailed her. Now, when you send her your email, she's going to send you back a questionnaire. You're going to fill that out. And then you're going to send her pictures of your front, your side, and your back. Um, once she receives those pictures and that information, she'll let you know if you're a good candidate or not for the surgery. Um, like your BMI has to be, I think, a 32 or 33, something like that, which is your body mass index. Um, it's basically your height to weight ratio. Um, she has to look at your health history, like your asthma, if you smoke cigarettes, if you have high blood pressure, diabetes, all of those factor factors will play a role in whether or not she will approve you for the surgery. So when I got my quote back, she did tell me that um, I was a good candidate for the surgery. So for my tummy tuck, my lipo, and my BBL, the cost for that was $4,800. In order to secure your date, the date that you want, you have to send a $500 deposit. Um, and she only takes Western Union, I believe. I had to send it to her. Um... No, I'm lying. <laughs> I tried to send it from my bank. My bank chart was gonna charge me a whole rack of money just to do that. So I said, okay, let me try to Western Union her. Um, and she told me she didn't have Western Union. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get this money to her? Because my surgery is soon. And so I talked to her assistant and her assistant said that she would allow me to Western Union um, somebody that works with them the $500. So that's what I ended up doing. When I got my original quote back in 2017, I also wanted to get um, a breast lift done. She did include that in the price, and I think that was a total of like 6,200. But that quote expired, so I had to get a new quote, and she sent me the quote back just with the BBL, so I mean, take the lipo. So I reached out to her and I said, "What about the breast lift?" And she said she no longer does all of that together. It's too much to do together. So I'm a little bummed about that, but I'll probably get my lift within like another year or so because these things are hanging low and they got to go. If you want any extra areas lipo, um, that's an additional $300 per area. So if you want both of your arms um, done, that's $300. Inner thighs, your posterior thighs, your lateral thighs, anterior thighs, your chin, um, or your bikini area. Each of those areas are $300 extra. Now, when you get lipo, whether she transfers the fat to your butt or she throws your fat away, it doesn't matter. It's the same price. So that's why I was like, you know, I might as well just go ahead and get me some fat, transfer it to my hips because it, it costs the same. She's gonna she's gonna lipo you for your tummy touch. She's gonna lipo your back and everything. So you might as well use that fat girl. Now, when it comes down to actually paying the money um, for your surgery, she prefers cash. Um, you are allowed to use a credit card. However, if you use a credit card, you have to arrive five days before your surgery. The DR, they'll only allow you to charge $1,900 per day. And you have to have a 4% interest rate. I don't know, it's like, it's really tricky. So I would ask her about that for some clarification. But I ended up just taking cash with me and, and paying for it with cash. Let's talk about some mandatory calls outside of the 4,800. There's some mandatory calls that you're gonna to have to pay. There's no if, ands, or buts about. If you stay in a recovery house, it is $85 per night. I stayed in Rocio Ortega. So it's $85 per night. Um, I ended up staying for nine nights. That was $765. Um, you also have to get massages. It's mandatory. So you get one massage in the hospital. Massages are $30 each. 
um, and then you get one every day that you're um, every day that you're there. So I ended up getting eight total, and that was two hundred and ten dollars. The recovery house includes all of your food. That's three meals a day. Any snacks, they make smoothies. Like they were really good as far as feeding me. They made sure that I ate even when I didn't feel like it. They would come up into my room and say, "Hey." You need to eat, come on, get your food. We'll even bring it up to you. Wi-Fi is also included. That was a little sketchy though, I'm not gonna lie. The Wi-Fi was a little sketchy. They, they could have done a better job with, with the Wi-Fi, I don't know. Transportation is $125. When I arrived to the airport, you're gonna have to go through customs and it was crazy. Customs was freaking crazy. I don't know what it was. I felt like it was like students doing a trip or something. I lied to you not, it had to be at least 50 of them. And they all got off the plane before me. And so I had to wait for all the people to go through customs. My back was killing me, it was just, it was a lot. But once you finally get through customs, you're gonna look for your driver. Your driver is gonna have your first and your last name. Look for that. People walked up to me, you know, thinking that I would go with them. My driver stepped in and he, in Spanish, told them like, leave. No, I'm picking her up. So please be careful with that. Make sure that um, you know exactly who you're looking for. I asked Medina to send me a picture of my driver, his name, and his contact information. You're gonna need all of that because when you walk outside of that airport, it is a gazillion men just standing there looking at you. So you're gonna need to know who to go to, okay? Gotta be safe. Um, airport pickup and drop off. Um, any medical checkups that you needed, that was $125. You have to get health insurance, that's $200. You have to get a Doppler scan done. A Doppler scan, excuse me, a Doppler scan scans the, um, your legs to make sure that you don't have any blood clots. If you have blood clots, then you can't get your surgery. Or they're gonna have to postpone it until those blood clots resolve. If you get a tummy tuck, you're gonna have to um, get an evaluation with the pulmonologist. You're gonna have to get um, a, we call a pulmonary function test, just to make sure that your lungs are strong enough because when you get a tummy tuck, the doctor is gonna sew up your abdominals because um, nine times out of 10, they're separated. So they're gonna sew them back together. That's gonna make it very difficult to breathe. I mean, it was, it was, it was hard. I'm not gonna lie. I was a belly breather. I wasn't a chest breather. So because she tightened everything up, I wasn't able to expand like I needed to. Um, so I had to learn to be a chest breather. And there are also some exercises that they had me do in a hospital. It was like a barometry machine that I needed to do exercises for every hour, one hour, four times an hour. I mean, they were very thorough. I can say that. It was annoying as hell, but they were very thorough. And I also had asthma, so I definitely needed that done. If you're only getting a BBL and you have asthma, you're gonna still have to be evaluated by a pulmonologist. I was also um, evaluated by Dr. Medina's psychiatry, psychiatrist, and then I was um, evaluated by the hospital psychiatrist, just to make sure that I'm in my right mind, nobody's making me do this, I wanna do it myself, you know, things of that nature. Um, I also got an x-ray of my chest, just to make sure that everything was clear. I opted for the pain pump. The pain pump was an additional $250. So, I get my surgery, um, I wake up, and it's like this little bag hanging on the side of my bed rail. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's the pain pump. I think it had to be two or three days later, I opened the bag, and guess what? The mother effing tubing from the pain pump was clamped. It was clamped. So it wasn't delivering me any pain medication which is why I was in so much freaking pain, because it wasn't freaking working. So make sure that y'all, you check your tubing, um, because people do make mistakes. So after you get your surgery, there are certain medications that you're gonna need to take. Um, and I do have a video on that, so if you wanna see exactly what you need to take before and after your surgery, please head over there to that video. Um, but you have to take two types of antibiotics, and you have to take heparin, which is a blood thinner. All the other medication you can get here in the US. I accidentally left my iron, so I had to buy it from them. So the two types of antibiotics, the iron and the heparin, cost me 
$200 freaking dollars. $200, y'all. $200. Oh, I forgot to mention. So I arrived on the 29th, which was a Saturday. Um, so Sunday, I got all of my lab work done, all my blood work done, all my tests done. And then they told me that I needed to stay in the clinic that night. So I spent the night, um, Saturday to Sunday, in a hotel with my mom. Free 99. <laughs> and then the hotel, I mean the clinic, um, they told me that I needed to stay there because my surgery was going to be really early. So I needed to stay the night before. That was actually free, so that's a good thing. And then you stay an additional night after you have your surgery. Now, if you have any complications and you need to stay um, in the clinic longer, that's an additional $200. I needed a blood transfusion. Um, so my hemoglobin level was a 2.2, I believe, before surgery. And it dropped all the way down to a 6. So the normal range is 12 to 16. So your sister was on the brink of that, pretty much. First they tried to give me an iron infusion. That was free, but it didn't work. Actually, it dropped to 8. They gave me the iron infusion. They rechecked it, and it didn't drop down to 6. So they said that I needed um, two, black, two bags of blood. Each bag of blood is $200. So that's $400. And then I had to stay in the clinic another night, so that was $200. If you break your drain, something happens with your drain, that's $25. Your girl broke her drain. I swear all this stuff happened to me just so I can tell y'all like the worst of the worst. I'm, I'm dead serious. Uh, they have something called the hyperbaric chamber. It's like an oxygen, um, oxygen therapy. So if you have like a lipo burn, you have a lot of bruising, they will put you in the hyperbaric chamber to speed up your healing process. That is $450. I didn't have to do that. I was good. I did hire an overnight nurse for me. Um, to be honest with you, I, so Medina does provide a private nurse for you. They, act, they actually took, took good care of me. So my overnight nurse, my private nurse was there um, the first night and then I was like, okay, you can go. Like you, she was there for 24 hours. Um, that's a, uh, for 24 hours, that's a hundred dollars. After she left, other nurses from Dr. Medina came um, and they did a pretty good job as well. So you really don't need an overnight nurse. I love my overnight nurse though. She was really, really good and I'll put her information below. Um, but to be honest, you can save that hundred dollars. If you decide that you want to go somewhere extra, your driver's gonna charge you. They're gonna charge you like 15 to 20 dollars. So make sure that you bring change with you. My Faha was $140 with her. The crazy thing about it is on Amazon, that joint is like $80. Now I ordered and I ordered a Faha um, from Amazon before I came, um, and then when I showed Dr. Medina, she was like, "I don't like that one. I don't like the way it, it shapes you." So I ended up having to buy her Faha. Thank God I had enough money. So that was $140. Now they told me to get an extra small. I was like, "An extra? Oh, y'all tripping? Y'all are tripping? I do not want to freaking extra small." So they gave me a small. I ended up having to get it altered. I'm glad I got a small though because my I didn't want my my hips to get squished in that extra small. So my advice to you would be to if you're gonna get a faha, get a faha based off of your hip measurements and then your waist. You can get um, that altered and taken in by a seamstress. So I say all that to say I had to have my driver take me to get it altered because it the waist eventually was too big. Uh, so I had to get that done and that was $24. It, they actually take your car, so you can take your car for that. Um, another expense that I had was my flight. I don't even know how I forgot about that, but my flight was round trip $483.45. I found it cheaper to book them separately instead of round trip. It was, for some reason, it was just cheaper to do it that way. So flying there, I did regular schmegler, um, sit with the regular people going. But on the way back, I did, it was a first class. What is that, economy? I don't know. It was a first class. It was like the second option from basic. Um, I ended up doing that and I'm glad that I did because the seats were a lot wider. 
And let me tell y'all a trick. So, book your flight, right? When you get to the plane, um, look for your seat based off the, you know, your seat number or whatever. Pull up American, their website. Go to that flight like you're about to book it again. They'll show you which seats have not been purchased yet. So you can find a row that don't have nobody on it and you can actually sit there and no one will freaking know. No one will know. Or I'm gonna even get a row where it's only one person sitting there uh, and you can get the aisle seat. So do that. Dude, that's a little that's a little travel hack for y'all. It's best to get an aisle seat because you're gonna have to get up and walk because you don't want to get any um, blood clots in your legs. So you wanna get up and walk once an hour. Um, I did have a layover, which was annoying. I'm not even gonna go into that story. Um, I had a four hour layover in Miami. Um, I'm from the DC area. So from DR to Miami was two hours. And then from Miami to Reagan was like four and a half, two and a half hours. So it was a long day. Um, now keep in mind that you have to also pay for supplies. Supplies includes like your gauze, um, your heavy cleans, your, um, your ad board, your phones, um, an additional faja that you need, any supplements, I mean, all that stuff. I have a video on um, what I took to DR, so go ahead and head over there if you wanna see exactly what I took. And to be honest, that cost me like $500. And, and a lot of the stuff I already had. So I didn't even add that up into that $500. So it's not just about how much does the surgery cost. People keep saying, how much does the surgery cost? Oh, it costs 4,800. Oh, that's it? No, that's that's really not it. That's really not it. Especially if you go to DR, you have to pay for your stay. If you decide that you want to get an Airbnb, you got to pay for your food. You got to pay for an overnight nurse. You know, you have to pay for your medications that you need. You have to pay for your Faha. Um, you know, everything that I discussed in this video, it costs. Like, it costs. So, uh, let me go ahead and add everything up and I'll give y'all, um, a, a price. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, I did get my eyebrows done. I got my, my eyebrows microbladed, and that was $150. I also got some food, so that was like an additional $30. So with everything um, that we talked about in this video, plus your supplies, plus all your extra stuff, that bought my total to $88.65 or something like that. So it costs. You have to be prepared to pay for additional things. The $4,800 is the base price. So um, you have to make sure that you are prepared to pay, I would say at least nine grand. Nine grand. So yeah. If you all have any questions, feel free to post them down below. I'm here, I'm willing to answer any questions that you all have. Just let me know. And again, thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, and I will see you all in the next video.